Oh, and one more thing. I did not mention how tired I am. They usually say when you enter your second trimester, you're, you're not as tired. I'm exhausted. My eyes are burning like majority of all the time. Did you know one of my cats had worms coming out his butt? I mean, I was wondering one day, a couple of days ago. I'm, I'm just sitting down watching TV and my cat walks by and he has like this white stuff on his butt. So, being me, I'm like, cat, come here. He comes, meow, meow. Turn him around and look at his butt. And I just see, you know, like these white things on his butt. Didn't really pay attention to it. So I take him to the bathroom. You know, I clean him off or whatever and send him about his way. Yesterday, last night, I see the same thing again. So now I lift up his tail and I'm looking at his butt. And I see that little muff sucker coming like just squirming out of his crack like you know like me I'm sorry when I was young I was a tomboy and I used to get worms all the time because I was just like I'll play in the dirt I would put my hands in my mouth I'll bite my nails off or you know I would drop something on the ground outside pick it up and eat it I was just like a real tomboy I did not care I mean I was just a dirty little thing when I was outside so I used to have worms Sometimes, not all the time, but like, you know, the worms that you be sitting on the side of the chair trying to wonder why you itching and, you know, you just moving until your mom be like, come here, let me check you out. And then come to find out you got them worms in your butt and got to go to the doctor and get the medicine. Anywho, so I'm sitting there, watch this worm coming out my, my baby's butt and I'm like, yo, how he get worms? I mean, like, my cat shots is up to date, you know, they're, they're healthy, they're clean, you know. I mean, my, my cats is my kids, so I treat them how I would want to be treated. So I called, a, I called a animal place, right, and they're closed, so I had to leave them a message. I say hi. My name is Shada Robinson. Please, stalkers, stalkers, don't look me up. I said, I have a... Uh, I think a one-year-old Siamese cat by the name of Panther Robinson. He has been seen at your clinic before, and he got worms coming out his butt, and I don't know what to do. I said, I'm scared. What am I supposed to do for the worms? So I checked my answer machine this morning, and the lady's on my answer machine cracking up. But she's trying to tell me, like, all I need to do is bring him down there to get a shot. The shot was $15.30, and he got to go back at the end of this month to get another shot. She was like, ma'am, it's nothing to worry about. You can't catch the worm from the cat. She's like, I'm sorry to be laughing, but it was just so funny the way I said it on it. Because I was like, I was really scared. I thought, like, he was going to die. They were going to go and wrap around his heart or something, and he was just going to die or something. So, I was, like, scared because I love my kids. And, um... So I took my boo down, got him his shots. He went kind of crazy because he's like, you know, I ain't an outdoor cat. I don't do this outdoors, this or whatever. But, you know, you're trying to act all gangster at first. But then, you know, he wasn't so gangster once he got into the place because, you know, he knew what was about to go down. So, you know, he just started, you know, wilding out. Like, you, well, you ain't going to be poking me. You know, he scratched the doctors up. But, you know, he got his shot. I don't see no more worms coming out his butt. So I guess, like, they're dying and they're going to shit him out. But I just thought I wanted to share that besides telling you that I was tired. I don't even know how I got on the topic of talking about my kid, but my cat, kids. But I love them, and they're my life. I can't live without my cats. I don't know what I would do without my cats. I will probably go crazy, really, literally go crazy over my cats. Um, other than that, it is like 93 degrees in Florida. I was outside earlier, but I couldn't do the heat anymore. It takes me like 15 minutes to get upstairs to the third floor now. Instead of like the good three minutes that it used to take me. I be out of breath, lightheaded, head all throbbing. I can hear my heart in my ears. It is just, it's just a hot mess trying to get upstairs and downstairs. So I usually just stay upstairs and just look off the balcony or something. Um, other than that... I'm done with my YouTube videos today. 
Y'all please comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. And I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all stay fly because you know I wear it.